In November 1946, Robert Edison Fulton Jr., the president of Continental Incorporated, successfully flew a unique vehicle of his own design that could convert from a car to an airplane. This innovative vehicle, known as the Airphibian, featured an aluminum body, independent suspension, large wheels suitable for aircraft, and a powerful six-cylinder engine. The wings and tail were made of fabric and could be easily attached to the car's body, transforming it into a functional airplane. The Airphibian achieved notable success, with one of the prototypes receiving certification from the American Civil Aeronautics Administration in December 1950. Robert Fulton was a multifaceted individual with a rich family history and a passion for invention and adventure. Named after Thomas Edison, who was a friend of his father, Robert Fulton Sr., the president of Mack Trucks, Fulton Jr. came from a lineage of innovators. His maternal grandfather ran stagecoach lines, and his uncle played a significant role in the development of the Greyhound bus line. Fulton Jr. himself was an inventor, adventurer, and professional photographer, holding 70 patents, many of which were related to aviation. Fulton Jr.'s early life was marked by extraordinary experiences, including flying commercially from Miami to Havana in 1921 and visiting Egypt in 1923 to see Tutankhamun's tomb. He graduated from Harvard with a degree in architecture in 1931 and embarked on an 18-month motorcycle journey around the world, covering 25,000 miles and documenting his adventures in a book and film titled One Man Caravan. During World War II, Fulton Jr. invented the first ground-based aerial flight trainer, which he later modified into the first fixed aerial gunnery trainer, called the Gun Air Structor. Frustrated by the time-consuming travel required to demonstrate his invention, he conceived the idea of a car that could convert into an airplane, leading to the development of the Airphibian. After the war, he founded Continental Incorporated to manufacture aeronautical equipment and his car plane invention. Despite its innovative design, the Airphibian did not achieve commercial success. The high costs of airworthiness certification forced Fulton Jr. to sell his company and the project was ultimately abandoned. However, Fulton Jr. continued to innovate, developing a surface-to-air recovery system called the Skyhook for the CIA, the U.S. Navy, and the U.S. Air Force. This system was used by the USAF until 1996. The Airphibian was designed to be easily convertible, with the aircraft section left behind during road use and the propeller stored on the side of the fuselage. The vehicle could reach speeds of 45 miles per hour on the road and 125 miles per hour in flight, with the conversion process taking no more than seven minutes. One of the Airphibian prototypes is preserved today at the Stephen F. Udvar-Hazy Center, an annex of the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum in Virginia.